Welcome for another medical tutorial. Today we will talk about an important concept that is used for the evaluation of the kidney function. It is called renal clearance. Renal clearance eventually is a method that is used to evaluate the function of the kidney. It is not a precise method because first of all it sums up all the mechanisms and second of all it sums up all the nephrons so we cannot depend on it to a high percentage of uh, accuracy so yet we can still use it to evaluate the kidney function and tell us if there is a certain malignancy like a uh, kidney failure or anything of value to tell us if a substance is being cleared and the kidney is functioning and clearing this substance now it is actually the difference if we were to understand it to understand the concept it is the difference between the rate of plasma filtration and urine excretion If this does not make sense, it will soon enough in this video. Basically, that means let's think that we have a box. This box is a box of plasma. It's got a certain concentration of plasma called X. This concentration will be later found in another box of urine. This box of urine has a certain concentration of urine x of the solute x this concentration is equal with that concentration in other words the same amount that was found in the plasma of the same solute concentration found in the plasma will later be found the same in the urine now for the substance to be filtered and cleared there are two pathways of excretion and yet there is only one pathway of input that is the renal arterial and the two pathways of excretion are the venous one not excretion the, the output pathways the renal venue which reabsorbs and in turn there's the urine ureter now each of these can be represented mathematically to make sense of this equation for instance take the renal arterial renal arterial is the plasma concentration in the arterial of x multiplied by the renal plasma filtration renal plasma filtration. The renal plasma filtration basically is the Bowman's capsule just um, filtrating the substance in and you want to know that because knowing the renal plasma filtration tells you how much is being filtered at each moment. Now what about the um, venule? It is the concentration also of the venule and the renal plasma flow also this is the same renal plasma flow and for the ureter it's going to be the urine concentration of that substance X multiplied by the urine flow that is uh, milliliters per minute alright then and now if we put this into an equation it would be the renal artery input equals the output and for filtration to work we want a substance that is being filtered and not reabsorbed, secreted or accumulated which is quite easy to measure and so what we do is this 
Take, for instance, inulin, an artificial substance that the body excretes and does not, uh, and does not, is, is simply just only filters, and so it has no venous return. But eventually, the input would be like this: the arterial concentration multiplied by the renal plasma flow equals the um, equals that for the uh, output, which is the urine concentration multiplied by the flow plus that of the venue which is this one F x concentration multiplied by the renal plasma flow eventually we're going to uh, let go of this one if we have a substance that is only um, a substance that is only filtered but if we've got a substance that being is being reabsorbed like urea we might need this one so what happens is that we've got input and output. Now ha what happens with this equation? What happens is that we rearranged it. The renal plasma flow here is the glomerular filtration rate, for instance. Or it could be the renal plasma flow. It depends on what you want to measure. Or it could be just simply the clearance of the substance. And so the clearance would equal. We rearrange the uh, equation to get... Uh, what we are looking for which is the clearance and so we just divide by the plasma concentration and we will have the plasma concentration here will leave it will disappear and so we will have this equation urine concentration multiplied by volume uh, urine flow divided by the plasma concentration and this is the uh, classical equation that can be used to measure the renal uh, plasma flow, glomerular filtration rate, and also the clearance of any soil that you want as long as it is not filtered. If it is filtered, you're going to have to add the other part. Now, um, what if we have a substance like glucose? Well, you cannot measure, this is quite tricky because you cannot measure the glucose clearance because glucose clearance eventually is zero because glucose is not filtered. Perhaps it is filtered yet in very small amounts that are not significant. And so you cannot use this one to help you. What about paraminohypouric acid? We've got a substance called paraminohypouric acid. This substance is used to measure the renal plasma flow, RPF. And to do so, you just simply apply the same formula, but you, you uh, change paraminohypouric acid for X like this better not be lazy um, renal plasma flow equals the urine concentration of paraminohypouric acid multiplied by the volume divided by the paraminohypouric acid plasma concentration and uh, you need to remember something is that when you get the value for the renal plasma flow you divide it by 0 0.9 which is uh, because you, paraminohypouric acid is not actually all filtered in one sweep but in 90% of it 10% still persists so you need to add this modification now another thing would be um, you should get an amount of if you're measuring the, uh, the glomerular filtration rate you should remember that there are some rules that you need to follow these are just two rules first of all a rule that is important to be kept that the substance for instance X is freely filtered and by freely filtered, we mean that <clears throat> the substance um, found in the Bowman's capsule or Bowman's space equals that in plasma. The second rule is it is not reabsorbed it is not synthesized in the kidney it is not secreted and neither is it accumulated it is simply only filtered as I said before and so in turn you will have X found in urine per minute 
equals x found in glomerulus per minute and so you apply the formula same formula as we applied before glomerular filtration rate is equal with um, the urine concentration of x multiplied by the flow divided by the plasma concentration <coughs> And you should get a glomerular filtration rate in about 825 milliliters per minute, divided by at about yes. Uh, and if you you're using about if you're using per day, you should get 180 liters per day. Now, what about the clearance of urea and creatinine? Well. Urea cannot be used because, I, as I said before, urea is being reabsorbed. It is reabsorbed, so it does not go for this rule. But we, you, we can still use it to measure the clearance of a solute and uh, to measure the kidney, to evaluate the kidney functions. And if you get less than 20%, you've got a problem with the kidney. And if you've got less than 5%, this is um, on the way to coma. Now, uh, the concentration should be between 60 and 95 milliliters per minute for the clearance of urea. And for creatinine, creatinine just corresponds to all of these. It is a beautiful substance. It is a substance that your body synthesizes during muscular activity. It is a waste product of uh, phosphocreatine and creatine. And in turn, this substance, <coughs> this substance is useful because it, you do not have to inject the patient with anything and not make him suffer all of the trials. Eventually, uh, it should turn out to have about 105 for creatinine uh, for males and about uh, 95 for females, milliliters per minute, of course. If you're wondering about the values for these, this is a concentration, so you measure it in milliliters per minute. Same thing goes for this. This should be flow. And mind you that sometimes you may have a renal, you might have the diuresis, and so you might have to uh, divide by 8,440. That's the number of minutes in 24 hours. Yes, you need to know this because sometimes it's quite tricky, and I've fallen for it a couple of times myself. Alright, so let me give you two examples that you should try to solve yourself. And if you have got problems with, you can contact me or leave me a uh, question. Basically, what you should do is um, try to solve them yourself. And you can check out the uh, actual answers in the description. Okay, let's take the first example. I want you to calculate the um, clearance of inulin. If inulin concentration in urine was about 11 milligrams per milliliter and in say the volume flow for this patient was about 3.0 milliliters per minute <coughs> the plasma concentration was about 0 0.25 milligrams per milliliter so Measure for this one the clearance of inulin according to what we discussed briefly now. Now another example would be example number two. Take for instance a, a patient who's been who's got a concentration whose uh, blood has been uh, checked for creatinine and he, and his plasma has about zero point zero zero six milligrams per milliliter plasma concentration and about uh, 0 0.6 milligrams per milliliter uh, urine concentration and the volume flow was 2860 um, milliliters per 24 hours that's the diuresis all right this is for the glomerular filtration rate. I want you to calculate the glomerular filtration rate using creatinine concentrations given. Alright, I hope this was helpful. See you next time.